how much energy from Jose did all of you guys feed off tonight? Oh, uh, we fed a lot off of it. Um, I think that's what we were missing. I, I guess the guys are tired of hearing, of hearing me from me and everything. <laughs> but was he vocal tonight? Yeah, he was very vocal. Um, he, he complimented the team very well tonight, and I mean, I think he kept everybody relaxed. You know, with me, I'm kind of more of an enforcer, and he, he he keeps everybody's relaxed, and and he's more poised. We were kind of guessing that Jose coming back kind of reset everybody's roles. AP goes back to sure he played some point, but he doesn't have. It's not his main job. Everybody else kind of became more stable in what they were expected to do and knew what they had to do. Yeah, I think we went back to playing our regular roles, and and that was important for a lot of guys because. Um, playing out of position, having to rotate a lot, you know, guarding different positions, it's, it, it's tough. And, um, you know, uh, Jose took a lot of pressure off a lot of guys. And AP, he was back to doing what he normally does. And how much of a difference does it make in the fourth quarter when everybody's playing their regular roles and Jose's making, reading and making plays for you? I mean, it's, it's a big difference because this is what we're used to. This is our, that, that's what we do. That's what, um, that's how this team was built. And um, when we don't have guys playing out of position, we have everybody comfortable. And we have Jose out there being uh, vocal out there. Um, it's a good mix for us. Defensively, fourth quarter, you guys seem to be able to uh, shut them down, turn it on. What what clicked? What did you, Andrea talked about focus. What were you guys focused on to keep them, uh, you know, held down? Just defense, moving our feet, keep containing our man, and then boxing out and getting a rebound. Um, we know that they're a jump shooting team. We wanted them to keep, we wanted to keep them out the middle, uh, limit their penetration, and, and not give them any easy baskets. How much have you guys talked about the schedule, Chris? I know that I know there's probably a few winnable quote-unquote games coming up, and then after that, there's some tougher <laughs> games. And it, how, much, how important is it for you guys to have some confidence going into, you know, a stretch where you've got Orlando, Cleveland, the Lakers, and then and in New Orleans? Well, I mean, it's very important, and we have to get our wins now uh, to build some momentum going in, into into those games. You don't want to go into a big game on a skid. You know, you want to against a team like the Lakers, you know, Cleveland, Orlando, you want to come in there with winning about two or three in a row, uh, feeling good about yourselves and, and seeing if they can beat you at home. Just before we go, uh, somebody uh, got a name for Jose's dance there? Yeah. Uh, no, I just I just don't want to see it again. <laughs> well, he said we wouldn't see it again. That was bad. Is that out of character for him or just showing his emotion? He's just showing his emotion. I mean, he's happy to be back. He hasn't played in 12 11 or 12 games so just 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 for him to be back and be happy and to actually make a shot was pretty good